Hi, Internet friends. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. On today's Tech Tip Tuesday, I want to give you some tips on some technology that's kind of chief architect adjacent. I've done a tip on this before called Kula.co, and it is an online tour software wherein you can upload a 3D, 3D panoramas and make a tour of your project. I got a couple of tips for you today. Let's get started. Two tips today. The first is to make sure your each panorama is, uh, I'm going to quit without saving, is centered where you want it to center. You can drag this target around wherever you want it and wherever that lands is how this panorama will open up with that target right in the center of the screen. Now, your end users won't see the target, just you when we're editing this. So I can drag it, click Save, and that target will be will center the panorama when we open this in a, in a live production mode. But if you want a faster uh, way to do this, I'm going to click on this exterior right. I'm just going to get my panorama where I want it. And I'm going to use this current link right here, this heading. When I click on current, it's going to automatically fill my X and Y. Now I could even do it like this and hit current. And that's how it would show up when I click on that panorama, uh, that scene in the live production. I don't want that, so I'm just going to do like so. Now, the last thing I want to do in this setting here is to click Snapshot. So that, uh, see the snapshot right here? That's what will be seen down here in the menu tray in the live production. Let's save the heading and the snapshot. You see the snapshot shows up here. Let's go to the next one. We'll spin around. Get that lined up. I'm going to snapshot, hit current, and save. Okay. And finally, snapshot, current, save. Do this with all of your 360s. Maybe you want this one to, to spin around and look like this. Snapshot, current, save. Okay. Tip number two is how to add hotspots. In the last video, and I'll, I'll link that up, up above here again, um, you'll get more tips in that video, but updating how to enter hotspots. In that video, I clicked on this hotspot, changed the tint and image, clicked on action, went and found the, video, the tour, and, and that that's a lot of clicking. So I'm gonna delete that one. I just found this the other day. Uh, you can drag this, any of these pictures, or any of these scenes, right onto the picture that's in front of you, in, onto the scene in front of you. So I'm going to drag this right here because that's the front. Now you can't see it because this tint is white. So let's change that to red and select. Now it's an arrow. I don't want that. Let's change the image. Uh, now I don't have built, I don't have my own assets. So I'm going to use built-in assets up here and use this target. There we go. And for the right, I'm going to drag this over here. Now it pulls the most recent image and tint, drops that onto there. Rear, left side, great room, dining room, bedroom two, bedroom three, save, done. Next, next scene here. I'm going to drag my uh, right over here. Now, now that I'm in a 3D panorama where this plan view was just a two-dimensional JPEG, I have this position. So I'm going to click on floor and go over here like that. Okay, exterior left, I'm going to go over here like that. And that holds the image, the tint, and the floor information now. So everything's all on the floor. I'm going to save that. Let's go over to the left and maybe I want to do my front and rear 
And maybe I want to go ahead and put the dining room right here, but I don't want this circle and I don't want it on the floor. So I'm going to click on wall and I'm going to change my image to this arrow. All right. Save that. Now the arrow was the last image that I used. So any, my next one here, this is the great room one. Uh, that Let's say I drag the um, dining room over here. That's going to be the arrow. And remember, I also had it on wall. So I'm going to go back to floor and change the image to the target. Okay. So there's a couple quick tips. Remember snapshot, set current, and then drag any scene that you want right onto your current scene. That, that saves so much time because it already sets the action. It sets the link up. And I don't worry about the rest of them, but um, works really, really nicely. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this information, click like and subscribe down there. Uh, hit the notification bell. I do also want to mention that if you like this tour, you can get a free account. Go to Kula.co. Um, if you're looking for a discount code, you can go to my website or click the link in the description below designbuildsolutionsllc.com. Look for Kula discount, enter your information. That'll send me an email and I'll email you back with the um, steps and links and such to get your discount. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a great week.